Hello guys and welcome back to the 3ds Max asset creation series and in this video I want to briefly go over how to unwrap your objects ready for texturing in software like GIMP, Photoshop or whatever you want to use to uh, ba uh, basically lay out and texture your objects. So let's go ahead and get started. We go over to our modifiers list here and scroll down and find unwrap UVW and just quickly select it and you can see all the green faces uh, here nice, nicely so what we need to do is we need to unwrap it out like I don't know a ooh, like a dead animal's carcass you know when they skin it and they just lay it out lay it down flat that's what we need to do so let's go ahead and uh, unwrap each of these different faces one by one so you can use more than one at a time if let's say you're using uh, if you've got a really complex model, like maybe a character, because it's going to take a long a long time for you to do it that way. So, over here, we've got a few different types of projection, mo uh, projection modes. I'm going to be using a box map for this video. So, I'm just going to select that and select our back face. And then I'm going to go to Open UV Editor. And then, over here, you can see we've got our nice... Uh, actually, no... I'm not going to use box map for this, I'm going to use planar map and you can see here we've just got like a whole box and we've got some serious overlapping UVs at the moment and that is something we do not want so let's just make sure we got our back face selected still and also you make sure you have your face uh, polygon selected and let's go to open UV editor and I'm going to map this out so it's just separated from the rest so let's go to flatten mapping press OK and then we can just move this around we can just move this one out and this is our back face uh, in the material only this area here is going to be shown uh, on your object so let's go ahead and select another face now we're gonna need this one so let's go to mapping flatten mapping and then OK and you can see we've got our shape here so just pull this away and do the same doesn't really matter which order you do it in just as long as it's all mapped out nicely and uh, make sure you don't select a uh, make sure you don't forget a single face and one more and then we just got uh, another one off of that so there we go okay so now we've done that we're gonna need to put it all in so it fits nicely you can scale these down just using the transformation tools up here so we've got our, we've got our scale selected so we got our uh, move rotate uh, freeform and we've got our scale selected sub object so let's just use this one uh, actually no that's not gonna go down too nicely let's just use this one here I prefer it uh, a lot better so when we move it around it's just going to take up the whole space so let's just scale this, make sure you keep them just the uh, same proportions, you can need, need those so this looks about right I guess and I reckon I can fit in maybe the other one so let's select this one now and we're going to make sure we can fit this in too yeah, this looks about right So I'm just going to move this one up here just so we can fit in our edges at the very bottom. We just need to make sure we have all of our edges on here just so they aren't like completely blank uh, on the UV layout. Otherwise it will come out black in like cringy and UDK etc. So there we go. We've now mapped out our... We've now mapped out our object and it looks nice and uh, easy to work with. So now we need to uh, go ahead and render this. So let's go to render UVW template. Make sure we've got our show overlapping UVs on. You're always going to need that. And then let's just go to render. And we should get a little something like this. This is exactly what we wanted. So let's just go ahead and save this image and I'm just going to make sure this is a PNG or something like that so let's just go ahead and save this and I'm going to put it on my desktop 
UV template and save. I'm just going to press OK. And now I'm just going to save this model here. I'm going to save it as an FBX. You can save it as a ASC if you want to, uh, but just make sure you have uh, UV coordinates saved when you export it out. So I'm just going to save this to my desktop, desktop 2 called UV example model and save and then OK. Just going to close that up and I'm going to quickly pause the video so I can get Photoshop off. OK so we're back again now we're in Photoshop. This is where all the magic happens. I'm just going to go to file new and I'm going to make sure my resolution is to the power of 2 just so it comes out nicely. So let's just use something like uh, 512 by 512. It's not going to be very detailed. We don't really need it since it's just a window frame. I'm just going to name it uh, UV Template Matte. And, and what we're going to do now is we're going to make our diffuse. So let's go ahead and set a nice little background. So it's going to be grey just so we can see the lines. And then just take that down like right there. I'm just going to change this to grey. Grey is always nice. So now I'm just going to delete my background layer and I'm going to place my UV template on. So let's go get our UV template and you can see it fits on perfectly. So let's just see if I can drag this. Oh good. There we go. Some of our little areas have gone slightly missing but that's okay. It's just something to do with where they are, I'm not too sure why. So, let's just go and drag this down a little bit. And hope for the best. Okay, well, here's our template. Uh, we don't need to worry about too much about the shape, so let's just go ahead and place a image. So I'm just going to quickly find a wood texture from the internet, and then I'm going to find some images for the frame. So I'll be two seconds, then I'll resume the video. Okay, so now I've got my textures ready. Let's go and place them onto our scene. You can see I've got like uh, a little piece of concept art to showcase here, and I've got a wood uh, plank texture that I'm going to use for the sides. So let's start off with the uh, thing we're going to screenshot. This is all about memory. As I can remember rightly, I think this was the back pane. I'm not too sure. So I'm just going to place that in however I think. So I'm just going to need to stretch, make this down a little bit, so it may be stretched when it comes out. So you just want to always bear that in mind when you're making an object. Try not to st uh, stretch anything, as it's, as it's not going to come out nicely on the model. Make sure you're filling up the lines exactly, and then let's Control T, and I'm going to stretch this out. Yeah. Remember, any areas areas that uh, have no material on them are going to be completely black so just bear that in mind oh god damn it okay my texturing skills are terrible so now we've got that one in I'm just gonna go place in my wood texture now and we're gonna put that on the very back so we can see the lines are gonna be about there okay just keep covering those lines up and I'm gonna make sure my UV template is at the very top so I can see how it all looks. So let's go and do the edges now. I'm just going to duplicate this uh, wood texture a couple of times. So there's another one. I'm just going to go Control T and stretch it out to make it fit. Uh, I would, I just really strongly advise that you do not stretch anything like I do, as it's going to look terrible when it comes out in game. But it is good for practice, so you can do this. So I'm just going to duplicate that again, move it down to fit here, duplicate it again, let's go and move this one down too. Uh, you can stitch uh, your UV template up together just so you don't feel like you're so restricted by shapes, you can stitch them out so you can have faces and you can draw on them easier. So. I would always advise doing so. Let's just go drag this one, this down too. And there we go. We've got our 
uh, model texture now. So I'm going to delete our uh, background and then I'm going to delete our UV template. You don't have to delete it, you can just hide it. So let's just go ahead and go File, Save As, go to your desk. I'm going to save this as a PNG and I'm not too sure what engine I'm going to import it into. I'm going to import it into, okay, UDK. So just go and change this to Diffuse and Save. And I'm just going to go ahead and open up UDK. Okay, so now I've got UDK up. Let's import our assets that we've made. So we've got a diffuse and we've got our models. Let's go ahead and import these. We don't need to worry about any of the settings as we're just using the standard diffuse for now. So let's drag the model in and now we're going to set up our material. So right click, create new material on our texture. And then go to edit using material editor and let's hook up our diffuse you will see that some areas are white that's just because it's transparent and I haven't used like an opacity mask or anything like that so we are going to be fine for now as you can't see them so you don't need to worry about any of those but I would advise using black for areas that you don't want to have on your object so let's drag this on and you can see that is our back panel I'm just going to turn this down to the side you should rotate your UVs just to make sure they look nice I didn't get around to doing it in this video so just turn this around and see what's happened as you can see here we've got our texture on nicely and this is a perfect window, uh, not window frame sorry it's a perfect uh, picture frame so you can use the skills that you've learned in this video to work out how to make nice objects for your own game so you can now start custom asset creation in a serious role that way you aren't going to be limited to do just uh, UDK or CryEngine or, or Unity static meshes that come with the engine as default so I know I missed out a little bit over here this little area that is untextured but we don't need to worry about that so thanks for watching comment like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video in which i'll be going over animation goodbye